Hello, welcome to video notes for area of circles. So I am going to pose this question to you. Imagine you're having a bunch of friends over and you wanna order pizza um, and you're debating between the different sizes. So would it make more sense to order two 12 inch medium pizzas or one 18 inch large pizza to feed all of your friends? So go ahead, pause the video, and turn and talk and discuss which do you think will produce more food. Now, some of you may have said, well, two 12-inch medium pizzas make more sense because if you look at the picture, it, you can kind of say, oh, those two are bigger than the 18-inch. And maybe that's true. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. But there is a way to figure out precisely which one um, will produce more food. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that is. So area of a circle is one way that we could determine um, which one exactly will give us more food. So what exactly is area? Um, you've talked about area in the past, probably in sixth grade, you spent a little time in area, maybe in elementary school. We haven't done much with area this year, um, so just a reminder that area is the amount of space inside a shape. In this case, we're talking about circles, but you really could have any kind of shape. For circles specifically, we will be using pi to find the area. So last week we looked a little bit closer at how pi connects to circumference. Um, it is also used in uh, areas as well. The formula for the area of a circle is A equals pi times radius squared. This can be rewritten as A equals pi times R times R. Because remember, whenever you are squaring a number, it means you are multiplying that number by itself. So whatever the radius is, you just multiply it by itself and then multiply it by uh, the pi. Don't forget that the length of the radius is half the length of the diameter. So in other words, in order to find the radius, uh, if you're given the diameter, you have to divide by two. So let's go ahead and practice um, calculating the area. Just like we did with um, circumference, you're going to have an exact one and you are going to have an approximate one. So just remember that is the case, you do need both, okay? So let's start with exact. So for this problem, we were not given radius, we were given the diameter, so we have to figure out what the radius is. So just imagine you're cutting that diameter in half, so essentially you're gonna say it's six divided by two, which is three. <clears throat> now I'm gonna use that in my formula. For exact, remember we just keep the pi symbol, so this becomes pi times three squared. Remember, this is not three times two, it is three times three, and three times three is nine. So we have pi times nine. Um, and then I need to add my unit. So my exact measurement is nine pi centimeters squared, right? It's squared because we multiply the radius by itself. Um, so whenever you multiply something by itself or something by another side length, uh, the units are squared. Now for approximate, you are just going to plug in 3.14 to 9. And when we do that, we get 28.26. So in this case, the approximate is 28.26 centimeters squared. Okay, let's go ahead and try the next one. This one, the radius is already given to us. So I'm just gonna use the four. So for my exact, that's what I'm gonna start with. I have um, pi times four squared. Again, that's not four times two, it's four times four. So we have pi times 16. 
can rewrite that as 16 pi. So my exact measurement is 16 pi centimeters squared. Um, for approximate, I'm just going to take that 16 and multiply it by 3.14. And in doing so, I get 50, 50.24. So I have 50.24 centimeters squared. So that's the basic rundown of how you calculate um, area. So let's revisit our pizza question. So in this case, which one would make more sense? So if we look at the two medium pizzas, um, we can see that their diameters are each 12, so that means their radius is six. So radius is six. For the bigger, bigger pizza, the radius is actually going to be nine. Okay, half of 18 is nine, half of 12 is six. If I calculate the area of the pizzas for the 12 inch, I'm gonna do six times 6 squared times 3.14. 6 squared is 36 times 3.14. And then that is 113.04. But we have two of those, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to take that and multiply it by 2. And I get 226.08. For the bigger pizza, I'm going to do 9 squared times pi. 9 squared is 81. And 81 times 3.14 is 254.34 inches squared. So we can see that even though it, it may seem like the two 12-inch medium pizzas are going to offer more, um, the 18 inch is actually better for a bigger group. Um, you get a little bit more, not much, but a little bit more. Um, and in reality, it probably doesn't cost as much either. So that's it for today's lesson. You do have a worksheet that you need to complete. It'll be due next Wednesday. Thanks for watching.